Hi everyone, in this video I'm good, I've got a confusing one here, is where I'm finding the JPEG shots are coming out better than my raw photos um, before I've done any editing to them. And it's effectively, I'm wanting to make my raw photos look as good as the JPEGs, as how they came out of the camera. Um, I've got an example here, this is from a photo shoot that I was doing for Nutmeg Couture, they do evening dresses uh, from Edinburgh, uh, no Glasgow, sorry Glasgow. Um, so we did this shoot in this brilliant hotel in Glasgow and uh, the whole photo shoot I took a lot of photos, over a thousand photos, uh, but they were JPEG and RAW, and it's JPEG large and fine, so they're exactly the same size, um, in, in size wise, but uh, one's a JPEG and one's a RAW. And I'm looking at this picture here. This is one of the, I don't think this is one which we're going to use at all. It's it's not really kind of what I was looking for. But if we look carefully, this in fact I'll just highlight two. So it's that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. So this is the JPEG, um, and I'll zoom in on the screen so you can see it a little bit better. And. This is the raw. Now, as you can see, when you come to the raw, it becomes brighter. You can see a lot more details in the background. So, oops. So if we zoom in the background there and there, definitely it's kind of brighter in the background. You've got more detail, detail more details are kept in the background. Um, but what I'm not liking is the changes in the face. So this is the JPEG and this is the RAW and I'm not liking the look. I'm liking the JPEG but the RAW, it just seems like there's too many kind of highlights going on in the picture. Um, her face, where the light has been shining down onto her, is really really bright and when I go to the JPEG this just looks so much softer. Maybe that is part of the compression that's been used um, to make the file size, like I think the difference between a JPEG and a RAW is about eight times or something. So if it's a ten meg RAW, it'd be around about a two meg JPEG, I think, or somewhere around about that. I'm not sure, maybe a quarter. Um, but like, look underneath the eye. Just make sure that both of them are in exactly the same position. Yeah, JPEG. Raw JPEG. So what I can also see is if we go like super duper close, uh, this is also, this is on a huge screen and it's of no use whenever you're actually printing it out. But that's her cheek in the JPEG definitely, and this is it in the raw. So what you are seeing is you're seeing more fine details in the raw. I would say around the cheek, like there you can't see anything apart from pixelation. Go to the raw. And it almost looks like you're seeing pores, uh, you're seeing her actual skin there. Um, but I'm liking the smoothness that the JPEG is given. But, okay, yeah, 100%, you can really see, if we go super duper whooper close, there you can see, like, squares. Uh, I'll zoom in even more, so it's square, 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 square. That's the JPEG. With the raw, if we go over here, it looks more like these are the actual pixels. Pixel, pixel, pixel. Square, 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 square. Pixel, pixel, pixel. Yeah, so much better, like, a fine transitions uh, between bright round the nose bit and the shadow, but in the JPEG, it's really blocky kind of thing going on here. But anyway, that's not what I'm looking at. It's more the light on her. So I'm wanting to make sure that the raw and the JPEG look as good as each other. So here, Again, what I'm saying is on the raw, it just looks blown out on her forehead. Uh, and I'm not liking that at all. Here it seems to be more detail uh, in the forehead. So what I'm going to do is, whenever it was brought into Lightroom, Lightroom's obviously added brightness and contrast. So I think I'm going to have to calm the brightness down. Let's bring it down to 35. Bring the contrast down to maybe 20. Now the next thing is the white balance temperature. Now, it's saying it's the same temperature as the JPEG, but there definitely seems to be something different here. So if we look carefully, this again, I'm looking more at the skin rather than a white clothing. I would say in the raw, she looks a little bit too pink. It looks like they've added uh, too much of a tint here. So I'm going to bring this down to, let's say, plus nine. 
Okay, still a serious difference here. Now, in the JPEG, I like this kind of much darker shadow on the cheek here compared to the raw. So instead of using the contrast or the blacks, which I'm not a big fan of using, I'm going to go to the tone curve and just drop the shadows down. Minus 18, that's quite a big drop. And yeah, that's looking a little bit closer to what uh, both shots are looking like there. Let's see, just put... Okay, I think it also needs to be warmed up in the in the roll. I think we need to bring that up. Is that 8,000? Let's bring it 8,400. That's getting closer. Oh, that's getting very close now. Yeah, okay, let's just make sure they're both exactly the same. So, here. And it's going to get to the point where I'm going to get confused which one's the JPEG and which one's the RAW. Uh, oh, and I think I'm there. Uh, I might know JPEG definitely still around the forehead area here. You can see it looks better than the RAW, or does it now? The RAW seems to have recovered that. I don't know if I want to use a recovery tool, because that whenever you use a recovery, especially on portraits, it kind of screws up uh, the white balance a little bit. So if I have that all the way up, it, she's kind of going a little bit duffer there. Uh, I might just put it up two. And oh, now the other thing is, what about if we change the camera calibration? That might be an important thing. Let's change that to portrait. Ah. Oh, no. No, what's going on? Something else has changed here. It's almost there's a bit more. See, I'm liking that one more. What's that one? That's a JPEG. And the raw's kind of gone a little bit green on me. So, yeah, let's bump up the purples again, up to 16. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. And now... I think I probably just want to do a little bit more drop of the darks. And now I'm happier with the RAW than the JPEG, but that's just on the face. Let's see what it's like when we zoom out. So that is the RAW, that is the JPEG RAW, JPEG RAW, JPEG... Oh, do I maybe, maybe do that JPEG? Uh, oh, it's tough, like even if you've got to look at things like brightness on the arm, where you've got there, and second shot there. So there's this one, which is the Nef, that's the JPEG. So yeah, the RAW I like more than the JPEG, definitely. Uh, it, this is kind of thing where it looks better when you're close in on the shot than it does from the, the outskirts. Now, what am I going to do with the final shot? Uh, I might actually enhance the bright bits just a touch, up by five. The actual exposure, I don't think I want to change that at all. Maybe just plus 15 or 0 0.15. Uh, luminance now with the skin. Uh, again, if you've seen one of my portrait videos in the past, you'll see that if you slightly enhance the luminance of the orange and the yellows, you get smoother skin. So if we go right up, blown out there, and it looks like bad fake tan. So I'm talking about minute changes, like plus five, and with the yellow, again, if we go all the way up, yellow's not having too much of an effect there. Just make that plus five as well. Reds, I don't think there's too much reds in her face there, or just in her lipstick. So really it was just the orange there, which I think has just cleaned it up a little bit. And now this was shot at ISO 200, but I still feel like there's a bit of noise there. So I'm gonna do a bit of luminance noise reduction. I say, yeah, I can definitely see that uh, coming off. And chromatic aberrations, uh, all edges done. And lens correction, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a vignetting just so the background isn't quite so distracting up here. Uh, bring that down to about there. That's a good post one. Mm, yeah, that's okay, I like that as well. And okay, now I'm happy with that. So compared, that is the RAW, that is JPEG. That is the RAW, that is JPEG. Okay, tiny little differences, um, but I'm gonna put this onto a blog page so you can see it. Um, and I'll do the original the JPEG and the uh, RAW edited, so you can see uh, the tiny, tiny differences in change. Um, but otherwise, I was very happy with that shot, but actually we're not using that shot because this was all before we actually started doing the shoot. This was just warming up. But I just wonder if any of you 
Have you ever kind of done it where you thought, oh, I really like the shot, and you've done JPEG and RAW at the same time, and you think, yeah, I definitely like my JPEG more than my RAW. Um, but yeah, just if any of you are wondering what the difference between JPEG and RAW is, RAW holds a lot more information, um, but also here you can see, if you go down to the ridiculous details, um, you can see how much it degrades the actual file. You can actually see these big lines here. That's from the JPEG. And the RAW, there's no big square blocks. Here. It's just lots and lots of little pixels. So that's the difference there. Okay, so um, tell me what you think. Tell me if, if any of you have trouble and you think that your JPEGs come out better than your RAW, but obviously I'm sure everyone watching this all shoot RAW because we all know it is much better, especially for editing afterwards. But you just got to really know how to work your editing of your photos so it's as good as it can be. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye.